client preview. I'm just going to walk the property on the outside and then we'll go inside and check it out. Over here to the right edge, you've got the property line that goes straight through here. You can kind of see the wall there. And it goes straight through to the canal. And this is an oversized lot. So the house actually goes around to halfway around to the end of the canal and it wraps around to the end of the canal. So we'll go down and look at that. Uh, it's nicely landscaped with low maintenance style landscaping, which is nice. walk around here and look at there's a side gate access to the pool area this house is uh, stucco and also so is the privacy so is the privacy uh, wall it is also stucco so it's very low maintenance um, most of the shrubbery and stuff around all the vegetation is all pretty low maintenance so you don't have a lot of grass that you're gonna be cutting here's another gate so you've got about four gate access gates through this concrete privacy wall that you can lock, so on and so forth. Here's the uh, twin boat lifts. You've got one boat lift there for a V-bottom boat. You have another boat lift over here. We'll take a closer look in a few minutes, which is for a flat bottom boat. So this is all your property, all the way halfway down to the center of the canal. And then you've got your neighbors right here in their house. And so your property line is basically going to be the corner of the wall right there. So as you can see, uh, nice, nice mature palm trees and uh, pretty low maintenance lawn care to maintain, which is a plus. Get a little bit of a still shot here for you. Let's, let's head on into the house and uh, take a look, give you a tour of the interior. Okay, here's your entrance area you've got uh, to the direct right as you walk in the house there's your entrance directly to the right as you walk in is the first bedroom this is a the only lower unit guest bedroom and it does have a full bath full bathroom with shower and tub so that's kind of nice Two small closets. Hope I'm not going too fast for everybody. Um, there's your um, entryway closet. And all furnishings are um, come with the cell or can be negotiated. Here's a small living area, um, living room area to the left. They have a tele television mounted there. And here you have your kitchen area. We'll go in there. And here's your dining room area. And there is a private half bath here for guests or whoever, random people. You've got your um, granite countertops here. Your larger commercial stainless steel 
refrigerator freezer. All major um, appliances are stainless steel. And that is Thermador brand. So. Here's your main living room area. You know, I really wish I had a uh, a lighter. I was going to light the fireplace so you guys could see that that is a gas uh, fireplace. There is one gas fireplace downstairs, and also there is a gas fireplace upstairs also. So your this is your main living room area, and you have your upstairs kind of a balcony over the living room area and this is all mirrored against that wall there you have your wet bar here ice maker and let's go on upstairs they've, they've utilized a lot of uh, spaces for storage uh, which is nice. It's not there's not dead space there. So everywhere they could put storage, they did put storage. Very nice, unique custom home and uh a lot of added little benefits as you'll see when we get up here. Now this is the uh second extra bedroom. Straight up the stairs. They have two single beds, small beds in here built-in custom cab cabinets all the rooms have fans and here's a nice size walk-in closet with a fan also here's a uh, full bathroom each bedroom has a full bath bathtub, bathtub and there. Here's your view over the balcony. Now that, that those windows were tinted and there's a lot of bubbles in that tent. It really needs to be removed and redone. But other than that, spectacular view, nice view. And then you have your downstairs where we just came from. Last or Here's the, the master bedroom. The lighting in here is not so great for video, and I don't think at the moment. But here's the uh, the master bedroom. Nice high vaulted ceiling. And then behind me. We have a lot of nice built-in cabinets with drawers. I'll open up some of these so you can kind of see. Well, all these the cabinets, even the kitchen cabinets, when you slide them in, they kind of have a break, which is nice. So it slows them down when they go to close, they don't slam shut. Nice custom feature. Here's a walk-in closet for the master bedroom. And there again, I don't know how well we'll be able to see, but there's a bunch of extra storage in here for miscellaneous stuff. And you've got a lot of your uh, electrical, telephone lines, security, cable, all that stuff's wired into this closet. So, master bedroom, walk-in closet. Here is your master bedroom bathroom. Granite counter countertops with dual sinks. Nice shower area. A lot of custom cabinets in here also.
I would give this house a 95% as far as just being clean and in perfect condition. You have his and hers, kind of, um, two different water spouts there for uh, showering. So I imagine two people could get in there pretty easily. So this is the master bath bathroom. Let's move on into the last two bedrooms. So you come up the stairs here. You walk into that guest best guest bedroom. You've got the master bedroom here. And you walk this way and you step into a fourth bedroom. These are all nice sized bedrooms. Um, there's really not any small bedrooms in here. It's, they're all fairly decent size. And this is a regular closet space instead of a walk-in closet like a few, most of the bedrooms do have kind of a walk-in closet. Here's overlooking um, the swimming pool. So you got the pool area there. And then you've got the downstairs dining room area there. Um, here's your fireplace upstairs. So you've got a living room area upstairs with the fireplace, entertainment area. This is your air conditioning system here. It looks like it's uh, got Sigwald stamp on it. They're, fairly, they're one of the best in the area and it looks like a fairly clean newer system. Um, this closet here has, a, has been rekeyed to not match any of the other keyholes so if you were to use this as a corporate rental you could put your personal belongings in here and not worry about anybody messing with them because like I said it's, it's rekeyed separate from the rest of the house. Let's step out and look at the view off the balcony here. There's your master balcony over there. Here's the balcony off the upstairs living room. Let's just get a shot of the view here. There's towards that end of the canal. You'll notice the boat lifts there, and you'll notice your privacy wall, which goes to the end of the property, halfway across the canal. If you notice there's rubber snakes along the uh, side of the pool, that keeps the birds from coming and um, messing up around the pool and doing their thing. Let's see, let's go on downstairs. Look, at, you got a, a large concrete balcony area here for entertaining, sunning, or doing whatever you want to do if you would want to lay next to the pool. And you've got a um, fish cleaning tables down here. This is a nice, this is a, a small garage door built on the back of the garage so you can actually uh, bring your toys in and out of the garage that way. Here's the edge of the property line on the other side of the property. Two uh, air conditioner units, condenser units. So there is two air conditionings in the house. You have your fish cleaning table here. With a nice wooden, uh, this looks like it's in fairly good shape. Um, the uh, wooden dock space down here. Trees. So let's go up and look at the pool. And 
nice swimming pool area. This is a, a jacuzzi jetted tub here. And there's a light just inside of uh, this wall here on the wall inside that flips the lights on for the pool. And there are two access gates also to the main street. You can either lock or leave unlocked. And you also have uh, plenty of lighting that you can switch on here at night. Let's step down and take a look at the, uh, the boat docks real quick. Then next we're going to run inside and look at the garage. Give you a quick tour of the garage here. So as you can see, I just want to show the stucco and the paint is in uh, pretty nice shape. All the stonework seems to be intact, not coming apart. Concrete seems to be sound and not deteriorating. Uh, those are galvanized, it looks like, uh, gates. But the stucco and the paint throughout is in near excellent condition, if not excellent condition. So. You have lighting, um, I don't know that it's working correctly or not. And it looks like you might have a sprinkler system there also. Fresh water outlet for rinsing your boat off. And here's your flat bottom boat um, lift. And as you can see, that would accommodate a pretty good sized boat, lengthwise. I mean, at least 24, 26 feet, I'm guessing, easily. Um, and same here for your V-bottom. Not sure of weight capacities, but I'm sure these things can, I've seen them list in pretty good sized boats, but this is Ace brand. And if you look out here, you can kind of get an idea, maybe, from the neighbor's boats. Not that they're all the same make. But, you know, I mean, it looks like that one right there might be one of the largest ones that I can see from right here. And that looks to be like 20, 21, 22 feet. Anyway, one more shot of uh, your, your exterior shot of your house. And there again, stucco, everything is in pretty good shape. And there's the neighbors. Now let's run on in and I want to give you a shot of the garage area. And I'm, I think I got to go through the front door here. So here you have your garage. It might be a tight fit for two cars, but it is a two car garage. It's where they stack all their uh, outdoor sun tanning stuff, with beds and chairs and stuff. Um, there's your small door for going in and out of the canal. There's a ceiling fan and light. It must be on remote because I could not find a switch for it. This right here is your laundry room. There's two fairly new um, washer and dryer. 
and it looks like your wa hot water heater was replaced in 419.05. Just kind of a little utility laundry room. And another nice room that they have built on behind this is a, as you come in from your garage, from the canal, you have like a, um, maybe just a tackle room for fishing stuff. Um, I see they got rods and reels in here. You have lots of cabinet space, some upper space up there, and a stainless steel sink. So that pretty much wraps it up for the whole house. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting it uploaded to you right away. I, only thing I wished I would have lit the fireplace, but I didn't have any matches. So anyway, beautiful home, near perfect condition. I'd give it a 95%. I did find one chipped corner of paint on a corner wall of the wall upstairs. And uh, there was a tile in a bathroom that I think might have a small crack in it. But other than that, um, this house is near 100%. Okay, thanks. Look forward to talking to you soon.